back in the gym, so it's about going back. Still world champion, still undefeated, 18 fights, you know. Um, and I'm, without being frank, I'm taking risk after risk after risk after risk since I became pro. Since I was an amateur, I took the risk to get to the Olympics, turn pro, British, Commonwealth, European world title, all under the um, spotlight, all against the best people I could fight. I mean, you could ask Eddie, never say no to a fight. There's so many easier fights I could have had where I would have gone in, it looked spectacular. Knockout in round one. I right, the people in the top 10 in my governing body. But we said, you know, we'll take a proper hard fight and see where we're at and get some experience. So it was good. Um, I'm, I'm an optimist and I'm a positive thinker. So I would say I'm happy you've got the 12 rounds, got some knockdowns, but there's stuff that needs to be worked on. Eddie and, and Lawrence as well. Why don't you first, Eddie? I know you're somebody who likes to break out of the box if you fight, can't you fight? Uh, there's a fight tonight on a Sunday. Uh, how far would it be? If ever, like you do something in Africa, obviously you had two African champions walking him out tonight. Um, is that something you could ever think of? Yeah, I think uh, it's something that a lot of people would love to do. You know, I, I can't speak for Lawrence, but I'm sure that would appeal to him. AJ as well has talked about it. Um, um, easier said than done at, at times, but you know, I mean, that was a great walkout for Lawrence tonight. A lot of people talking about that, and I'm sure in the future it's something that you'd love to do. Yeah, you're asking me that same question. Yeah. yeah, no, I think it's one of my main motivations is that um, the other African champions, you know, I, I'm, at whole, I'm very like living in the moment. I, you know, I've won the world title, I'm fine, no big deal. There's so much more to life, you know. Um, however, when I get the connection with someone like AJ, Alexander, Usman, these world class um, world champions, it makes me feel like I'm part of an elite club. I feel something, so it gives me extra motivation. It's good. Because the Polish guys, mm -hmm. oh yeah. my, they came out. Right, yes. right. I was watching um, Farah's fight, <laughs> thinking, oh my goodness. And this is early. So when it got to the thing, even in the fight, you know, I was hurting him and I could hear them, me, how, me, I don't think. And I could see him, see me, see him, and he was coming. So it was, it, it, for me, it's a great experience. I've had um, grudge matches, I've had um, headlines, I've had in front of 90,000, 60,000, I've had, you know, this show. So I'm racking up a lot of experience. I think a lot of people, without being that, uh, take a lot easier roles or a lot longer to get to world level and fight the type of competition that I've been trying to fight. So it's learning, but I've got so many natural attributes that allow me to just win fights. But it's like, I want to go down as one of the best cruiserweights out of this country. And there's some people that the kind of performance I did today, there's no way that I can fight them and get away with certain stuff, do you know what I mean? Shane said it, I believe that Eddie obviously as a promoter wants to see a bit more clean punches and hit people as fans. So there's stuff that I'm going to work on, but I'm going to read it, and that's all I'm going to do is just strive to be better. Shane, how did you assess Lawrence's performance tonight? Um, like, I've realised how much you meant to him. It's so like, like, I have to be careful how I explain it, but it's like, for me, I'm so focused on like unifications, um, big moments, whatever else. It's like, I kind of just go into training, I'm training, but I'm so focused on like, a Bravis, a Macabre or whatever. And you can't take it out of people that um, see that because he's coming to change his life. But it's a good experience for me to remember that. Because I, you know, I beat um, Baraki, good fashion, thinking boxing's easy. Beat my mandatory, boxing's easy. Then you get reminded, hold on a second, the people out here who really are coming hungry, they're really coming to tell themselves. I have you no know, um, um, major injuries, you know, no major slip ups. There's so much stuff to be done, and I get to, as they said, live to fight another day. Before the fight, before today's fight, you said that Czech luck is good and you have those special X factors. Yeah. So, having in mind that we will have, supposedly, you have a uh, unification now with this, what will be your X factor against Bradis? I guess um, Bradis, I think, it will obviously be the same, same kind of stuff, um, length, strength. I think Bradis will not stop the same tactics because he likes to punch from mid-range so he'll be believing in his power as well as I believe in my power so we'll be exchanging more I think Bradis has got really good feet so it'll be good to get the back and forth reaction it's just, he'll be okay, as he said so he's got really good feet really good at taking the distance going back so it has to be a very very different fight and very very different kind of performance Yeah. Do you like being with the, the ring with yourself and the judge with the 
That's amazing. I'm not sure if I'm going to knock out. Do you know what I'm saying? I really do. I'm going to try to knock someone out the first or fifth. But for me, all of that stuff's extra. I enjoy life. I enjoy boxing. I enjoy that stuff. But ultimately, what's important is how I perform in the ring. Whose idea was it to just happen? I mean, we all talk on social media. AJ, our good friend, me and um, Starbender, have communicated for years on via social media and stuff and seen each other a couple of times. So he just happened to be in England at the time. And I felt it was important because of the kind of energy that I was getting from Poland. I thought, you know, it's good for Nigeria to show that we're here too. Also, would it ever be a dream of yours to represent a white Nigeria or to your country? Yeah, as, 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 as we said earlier, logistically it's about making it make sense. It's definitely a major motivation of mine. Um, so I believe I believe it is possible, and I believe it's something that would go down as amazing. It would be great if we could have, you know, um, AJ, uh, maybe even a mix of martial arts and um, boxing somehow. I don't know how Eddie and Dana White or whoever would do it, but it would be a, a major moment, and hopefully he gets me an easier fight so I can get a knockout. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look, it's, it's all about timing. I mean, he's got a fight off the tire, and when the fight is April, maybe, day off the tire. Good fight. And you know, uh, yeah. yeah, April, and then we'd love to do it. You know, we want to keep Lawrence active. I think one of the things was obviously it's not been too bad September to February, but we want to close the gap a little bit. He needs to be fighting three times a year, so we can pick up Makabu. Gulamar and Eagle Rob winner, we'd love to do that. But I feel like this is the biggest fight in the division. So I know that Lawrence is going to be moving to heavyweight, but we'd like to fight a great champion. And, and Bradis is the, the most credible of the champions. Yeah, I think I think it's close. I think the fact that he's here today, hopefully it's not for cloud, it's for serious business. Um, and we'll get to work. I think he's got a good fight coming up next. So I managed to get through my good fight, so if he can, I believe it's a fight that needs to happen. He's been in there with some amazing fighters, um, the daughter kisses, the physics, and he's someone that I watch coming up. But I believe if I'm going to step my first in the division, this is the type of guy I have to beat. So I'd say I'm quick, but Eddie could potentially make that happen. That David Canelo fight, could it be this guy that's actually going to be with us? Yeah, maybe. I mean, look, I think Lawrence would love to fight with Canelo. Everybody would. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a different. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to see that. I need to see if he's got the tattoo and roll out now. For money, just for money. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, sorry, I thought you were going to say that. Yeah. Uh, no, do you know what it is? For me, yeah, no, you're not a secret. I'll be honest, I'll be honest with you, boxing someone like a Bradis, being in the education match, it's like, I genuinely am, I feel happy and blessed every time I fight, because I've come, I don't want to turn into a sub story, but I've come from council housing, worked in McDonald's, changed my life, helping to change a lot of my family and friends' lives. So every time I go on and get a win, I feel happy and proud, I don't care how it comes because ultimately my dad's here and my mum's going to be watching at home and I don't want to start getting too emotional but it's it's a blessing. So now that, you know, even talks of unification, that is something that was so far-fetched to me when I was overweight, when I was um, back in Hackney, it's a blessing. So like I said, for me, what's something that Brady's just comes, showing a lot of respect, it's going to be a proper war but of champions. You know, today it was a bit, it was a bit like, I think I was too emotionally charged um, with the whole Poland versus Nigeria versus England. With Brady, it will be a, a great boxing spectacle. Um, so let's see if we can make it happen. Can we get head to head? If you want. Of course. But also, what I want to uh, say uh, is, is even what I saw, you know, here is very crazy people, you know, when I walk around, crazy I mean in the good uh, way. And here is, a, I think, what I know, boxing is world here, and uh, here he love everybody boxing, you know, speak about boxing, and 
in Latvia, everybody shy, say hi, some colleagues here, people, oh, dear, is my race, come on, let's make photo. No, there is very open mind, you know, and uh, yeah, why I'm here, because I like, uh, my kids live here, Queens, in, in, uh, in uh, UK, and that's why, you know, it's like second home, and I, I need to try to uh, make here, and uh, I, my goal is to uh, make full auto arena, not half, but full, and I, I, I believe with the whole year we can do this, and uh, it will be amazing energy what we feel all the time when I bust. Mark, sorry, you got the test after the day for Lawrence Rasmussen. When I was first time, I, I never believed myself when I, because I don't sing. I don't have a voice for singing, and, uh, but uh, we made this uh, song for 30 minutes and this guy who making computer this everything, you know, clean. And uh, he said, I wait to back, maybe, maybe you try something uh, very funny, McDonald's or Coley's, and strong punch and yeah, we will see, we will see. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right in the studio tonight. <laughs> 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 Freestyle. Oh, no. Thank you very much for attending on Sunday. Really appreciate it.